Hey, how's it going today? It's me, Captain Energy, and today I'm going to show you how to use this really cool baseline generator from Reason Studios in Cubase to generate automatic baseline grooves in your music using either VST instruments in Cubase or external physical instruments hooked up by MIDI. If you're interested in finding out how to use this, have a seat and let's take a look at how this works. All right, so here we are in Cubase. I've got a brand new project hooked up. We're gonna hook this whole thing up from the ground so I can show you what's happening here. First, what we need to do is pick an instrument that we want to generate bass on. In this case, I'm going to go and put a MIDI instrument in here and I'm gonna call this CS1X bass because I'm using my CS1X and I'm gonna use the bass on it, which is the sound you hear right here. What I want to do next is I want to bring in Reason. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna add an instrument track and I've already got my instrument set up to be a Reason Rack plugin, okay? I'm gonna hit Add Track and there we go. Now when I go over here, I'm going to go to Browser. And in order for this to work, since the uh, Reason Baseline Generator is a player, I'm going to go to Players right here. I'm going to go down to Baseline Generator right here. Open that up. And you'll see that automatically connects to, since there's no instrument already there, it just brings in a MIDI out. So it's basically already set up to connect to the MIDI back in your DAW. It's, this is kind of neat that they actually have this set up this way now. And now what I would do is I would, you know, I could choose, I could create my own or I could pick one of the, uh, one of the patterns here. I'm gonna go with Funky Generator, generation here, all right? And now if I go back over here to Cubase and I select the CS1X, all I need to do is change the MIDI input on it from all MIDI, which is what it is right now, to click that. I go right here and I can see that the Reason Rack plugin event out is right here. What that's going to do is it's going to say, okay, whatever MIDI is coming out of here off this Reason plugin, play this instrument with that. Now, one other thing you need to do here is you need to enable monitoring on that instrument. So I'm gonna click that right here, this little speaker. And now if I go down to right here as player and I just start the track, and you'll notice that this starts playing over here and you can hear those notes coming through. This may not be the best example. Let me get you a better rhythm here to mess with. There we go. And that's it. Just to get that to play right there. If I wanted that, um, I could choose different patterns. I can adjust. There are some controls over here you'll want to mess around with to see what's going on. Um, but this will get you hooked up and you'll be able to play use the baseline generator now to create bass lines in Cubase. Now, if you wanted to use this with a VST, instead of with um, an actual physical keyboard right now, this is a physical external keyboard that I've got going on right here. All you'd have to do, I'm gonna actually get rid of the physical keyboard. Remove selected track. And I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna add an instrument track. And we'll go from we'll pick an instrument. And uh, I will pick, I'll grab a Juno, virtual Juno from Arturia. Doesn't really matter what the instrument is. I was trying to pick something just that uh, would give us pretty good uh, results. Now, since I already had done the setup to make Reason the player, it automatically inherits that capability of that, of that uh, information right here. So if I go over here and change this to something a little more, uh, there we go. 
Same thing. If you look, look in the drop down, you'll notice that it says Reason Rack Plugin. And that's it. If you wanted this to not be played through the player, you could then change it back to all MIDI, and it would just be hooked up back to the keyboard. Um, and change it back to play it on there. And that's it. If you think that was helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Leave me a comment to let me know if this was helpful and what you might use it for. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Bye for now.